Hey, Sneaky Linux back, and tonight we're looking at G Mini 3 from the Goblin X project. Based on Slackware, we're going to have a quick look around for you and see what it's like. As you can see, I'm going through the top there CPU, memory swap, net, menu, loads of usual suspects, and that's in fact quite a lot. Now, this one only comes with the XFCE interface basically. And it's only a 290 megabyte download, so it's not too bad at all, is it? Really. Based on Slackware, and um, all the stuff we've got here. Lovely. Keep going. There's quite a lot there for 290, really, don't you think? You have to install your own Flash. You're a bit of a bummer, but hey, gotta be done. Abbey Word is the word processor. We'll open them up and have a look. Eventually. There we go. Not too bad, really. Fires up reasonably fast. I'm using 384 mega of RAM on here, so it's not too bad. But this sort of distro is ideal if you want to remaster your own system, because you don't get that much with it. Although I say that, look at all that. Build your own swap file, daemons, froppy format, stab, gilo. Goblin X installer worked fine for me, no problem at all. And you've got their package manager, so we're going to have a look at that first. There we are, comes up quite quick. Open him up. Now I'm going to put something in a search. I've already updated it, so everything should be there. So I'm going to put in lame. Already there. So my MP3 will be fine. Hmm, let's find something else, shall we? Okay. Okay, we'll try XFID. Now I was actually looking for XFID cap. But it doesn't come with XFID cap in the repositories. Hmm, never mind though. I'm sure you can find that somewhere along the line. Or at a later date even. Let's find something that we haven't got. So I'm going to chuck in CMonkey. That's, that's not a bad browser and mail app, really. There it is. It's not on here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to highlight it first. It tells me all about it. Nice. Like it. We'll click to install. And then all we do is click on Execute. There you go. It needs 11 megs, but it's going to use 65 afterwards. As you can see, my download speed isn't particularly brilliant. So what I'm going to do is okay, just forward this bit and edit that, just like that, and we're there. Right, that's all downloaded. Now, I was a bit confused here, basically because I was expecting the progress bar to go along. But it doesn't. It just stays empty. So if you do get it, don't worry, it is installing. Hey presto, there we go. We wait a little while. A bit longer, in a bit longer, Ta -da! and it's there. So we'll close that all down, and we'll close the package manager down too. And we're going to go and see if it's there, or do we have to reboot? So go to network, see monkeys there, lovely. This is what it looks like. That was nice and quick, super duper. Go straight to the see monkey page. So what I'll do, I'll go to another web page just to show that it works okay and the colours come out okay. And there's no smudging and stuff like that. BPC, slow load for a page, don't worry. Boom, we're there. Nice and clear, the colours are better than the last Seamonkey I used, or whether it's just the way it's packaged here, I don't know. But it looks cool to me. So that's cool. Lovely. Right, as there's not much with it, this is all you get really. And you've got a little favourites bar up there for the Goblin X page, etc. You get a lock screen and you get a quit. It's not too bad. If you right click, you get all this. And don't forget, if you're going to build your own modules and stuff, this could also be the, the one for you. It could just let you do whatever you want to. So you only get 200, 200 to download. But by the time you put all your own packages on, woof, it'll go straight up. Anyway, this is one problem I did find is GXene. Opened up alright. After that, didn't want to play ball. So I thought right, we'll come out of that and we'll try it again. <coughs> Excuse me. And I closed it down and I looked at the CPU and it's still hogging the CPU. So I thought, well, that'll go away in a second. But it didn't, it still kept hogging and I've got a fatal error. So that's something that needs looking at, really, isn't it? When you think about it. So anyway, I'll go back up to the menu before we finish. Everything's there, that lovely jubbly. If you like building your own packages, like getting a bit of work done on your own, this is the one for you. Sneaky Linux out. 
See you soon.